Hi everyone, good morning. How is life? And welcome to Efteling Vlogs Part 2. This is our first and only full day in the parks. Um, we travelled to Efteling yesterday. You can check out the travel day vlog down below if you wish to. But we are currently staying, we are currently in the Efteling Hotel in one of their Snow White suites, which is amazing. I do have a full tour of that coming up very soon as well. And we are about to go to the parks. However, before we go to the parks, I do want to show you a little bit of the breakfast that they offer at the hotel, in the Efteling Hotel, because it is complimentary. I think you know if you stay in this hotel we've stayed here both like on both of our visits to the Efteling and both times um, a breakfast has just been included as part of the stay it's a lovely breakfast like kind of your traditional breakfast stuff there's some scrambled eggs um, some bacon some pancakes the pancakes were actually really good croissants pao chocolat some pastries some bread fruits um, I think some cereals Nutella just all your basic things that you would expect from a breakfast buffet the room that they dine in as well they kind of have you have your breakfast in is also really really lovely much more peaceful than the ones that i'm used to in the disneyland hotels just because i think the hotel generally is a little bit smaller which makes sense um but yeah really enjoyed our breakfast i went for a combination of things i couldn't actually finish everything that i put on my plate but one thing that i love that they do here in the netherlands are these little chocolate sprinkle things that they give you in little boxes i think it's meant to be eaten on toast i just put some of my croissant it became a mess towards the end because obviously it just was going everywhere it even went on my like ham and cheese that i'd put so it just became yeah a little bit of a mess but the actual taste of it is amazing i love it it's like a novelty for me doing that when i'm in the netherlands but yeah that was breakfast we are now heading to the parks it's uh, about 11 o'clock i think 11 30 the parks opened at 11 a.m because it's like low season they open at 11 uh, close at 6 p.m during the winter Efteling months. Um, so yeah, we are gonna head out there. We've got our own little walkway, which you might have already seen if you checked out my vlog from the previous day. Otherwise, come along with us. It's gonna be a good day. We are out <laughs> into the outdoors on this beautiful November the 22nd day in um, the Efteling. How are you doing, Marie? Fabulous, yeah. Did you enjoy that breakfast? I enjoyed that sleep and that breakfast. And that breakfast and that sleep. Where are we going? I still All the feet. We're following the yellow, yellow footsteps. Mm -hmm. It is very cute. So you have your own special entrance, as I mentioned earlier in the video. If you're staying at the Efteling Hotel, which you can see there behind me. Very yeah, cute. Our room. Which one is our room, actually? I think it's one, we, we're two, one of the ones three, by the four, tower. Five, six. But that one? That no, side? I think it's... I think it's either the one at the top or the one underneath it. Yeah, because on the sixth floor. One, I think it might be on two, this under two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a, it's the third room down. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. So yeah, it's just yeah. I, we think it's just that one up we there. Are. Very very cool. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Also, thankfully, like we, it was um, predicted to be raining most of the day, and this morning we both woke up and things have changed. I think it rained overnight, and fingers crossed it should stay dry for the majority of the day. Um, I think it's meant to rain like later in the evening, but the park shuts at six, so that's all good. Perfect, nice thank day. you so much, thank you very much. So we've just come through from our, you know, special little entrance over there. Very cute, I love that the first thing we see, oh my God, also basically, I love that the first thing we see is this, sorry, I need to finish my sentences. But one of you guys told me yesterday on Instagram, I posted a story of this hippo, and one of you guys told me he's an actual bin, which is amazing, are you gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so, just a little bit of tissue that I'm gonna, put into his hole. Thank you very That is bijzonder aardig. Have you soms nog meer van dit lekker? <laughs> so I have no idea what he just said there because obviously he's speaking in Dutch. But I think, it, oh, he's singing now. I love that. Nice, thank you. Something like that. <laughs> that was amazing. This is, we love this park so much. Marie's favorite little bear here. She matches with, <laughs> she matches with him. My favorite smiley guy down there. The one who looks like. Anyway, we've got an actual map today, which is nice. It's nice that they still do these yeah. souvenir maps. Um, it is quite cold. It's definitely colder today yeah, than it was yeah, yesterday, yeah. yeah. I'll have to get that, that jumper. Yeah, I'm going to get a sweater. Potentially get a... Funny. An Efteling jumper. Ooh! 
<laughs> oh, I might have to put my, my uh, hat on. Lord have mercy. Look at this beautiful view though. It is cold and very chilly and actually the park seems very, very quiet. Hardly anyone here. So that's the entrance that we just used to come in. These boats don't seem to be on at the moment, but Marie and I did go on these when we were here in September of 2019 when it wasn't quite so cold. And they were actually really lovely. Um, there's an old mill at the end as well. And I've, I'm noticing what apparently some people call a dolphin but it definitely looks like a fish to me it's the exact same layout as the, the dolphins from the swan and dolphin in disney world and to me they just look like fish that's why i call the hotels there swan and fish you can see pagoda up there the wide that basically kind of takes you up and gives you a good panorama view of the full park we've got this right here i think it's called fergil something Fergil being, I believe, the name for a bird because it's very similar to what the Germans would call a bird. It's got an amazing outside exterior, but I think inside, from what I remember from a few years ago, it was just like a dark roller coaster. It wasn't one of my favorites, but we are still going to try and do it at some point. I'm not sure if I can film it though, but because we've just had breakfast, I think our first ride of the day is going to be one of the silliest, funniest, and in my opinion, also weirdest rides at the Efteling, which is Carnival Festival. Over there, you can see it. Carnival Festival, the idea behind it is very similar the two is a small world um, which you probably all know from the Disney parks um, it's just executed in a very different way in a weird way in a slightly in my opinion in some ways controversial way Marie are you excited about going on Carnival Festival should we start the <laughs> music <laughs> I am actually bizarrely excited even though there's so many things that are weird about this look at the little jokey lamps up there so the queue line can become very long. I imagine maybe in the summer months there's a cow. <laughs> Look at the cow. But as you can see, completely empty here. No one in the queue. What's going on here? Is that Jokey? Hey Jokey. And here we are. It's literally a walk on guys. Look at it. Marie's going down from here, I think, in a second. And yeah, it's just gonna be straight on to our favorite, our favorite. Da 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 da. <laughs> Ready for your journey around the world? I'm so excited, Marie. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the world looks like. <laughs> Very realistic, really, as well, apparently. This is exactly what I see when I look at the world. I can deal with the frogs. Jittery frogs. Uh. Oh, yeah, of course, start with Holland, the Netherlands. I know, it's pretty it's scary, 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 scary. I was gonna say so many empty, so many empty uh, vehicles on both sides actually, no one next to us on the next two, no one on the first like four in front of us. and bizarre right I can't everything about oh my god Scotland You know, enjoy it a bit more. <laughs> enjoy the more time to appreciate Italy. Italy here with these lovely looking people. Do, 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 do. <laughs>
Okay, we're back to moving again and I think we are slowly but surely getting to parts of Asia. Now this is where things get a little bit bizarre, is what I like to say. <laughs> yeah, why? Why? Why is this happening? No. Nope. This is not, 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 not. shadow work going on, no weird doll situations, and the dragon school as well actually, I'll give him that. The, the bit next to the dragons is when things get a little bit, yeah, as Marie Marie pointed out, that's when things are not necessary we, in our opinion, but oh well. They're just so, yeah. oh, that, that guy is not, not like, no, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, not, not the best uh, looking face, unfortunately, but, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's more or less the end of the ride, though, that's the finale scene over there, we just took our photo as well, it's actually not as bad as I remembered it to be in terms of the weird stuff, I feel like it might change, you know, I, think it has, I yeah. remember it was, there was some more, what, like, some scenes that were a bit worse when we were here a few I years ago. Like it, Let us know if you're if you can keep up to date with the after I remember like, this. Yeah, this last time I remember as well. Yeah, because that's when we got stuck last time. Da, 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 da. Just wanted the lovely, phenomenal Lucas. Hi everyone. Lucas watches the vlogs and he yes. works this and you know a lot about the... Oh, thank you so much, thank you. Uh, so you know a lot about the Efteling. I, I love I, the Efteling. I work here so it's I It's amazing, it's amazing. And yes. Lucas is amazing as well. Thank you so much, Lucas. You're welcome. Thank you for saying hi. Bye, bye-bye. Oh, so lovely. Come on, Marie. It's always so awesome bumping into you, especially now that I'm in like a different theme park and a non-Disney theme park and I still get some of you here at the Efteling. It is awesome. So big, big shout out to Lucas. It was so lovely meeting him at the end of the Carnival Festival ride. And now we've come to the shop of the Carnival Festival, which has quite a lot of, as you can imagine, merchandise from that ride, that attraction with Jokey. Oh my God, look at that Christmas tree. <laughs> All the Jokey stuff. I do really appreciate the Efteling theming their Christmas trees inside their shops with whatever kind of character or attraction that shop is for. Very, very unique. I love that as well. Look at that. The little jokey snowmen. So this rise, the one that we just went on, the carnival first. Did they have your size, Marie? No way. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find it in one shop, yeah. So Marie's been looking for um, this here, this hoodie. We, she spotted it yesterday and it's lovely. So it's the afternoon on it since 1952. It's actually celebrating 50, uh, 70 years, sorry. 70 years of uh, the park being open here t this year in 2022. Oh, look at that as well. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're hoping to get that hoodie for, find that hoodie at some point for Marie and size that she needs it. I want to potentially buy a, um, a puzzle as well. These okay. cute keychains are cute. This is a Jewish one. What did you find? A little necklace? It's a steampunk necklace. Is it meant to be from a particular ride or is it just a really cool necklace? Yeah, Sinbad. The, that's the, the new... The cannibal ride. The cannibal ride that's now changed <laughs> into a Sinbad one. There's so much cool history uh, about the Efteling and I think that's why both Marie and I love it. And I need to, I need to like express your quote that you said yesterday, which was one of the best quotes that I put on my Instagram. Oh you yeah, said, that everything is just like a little bit creepy in this part. Yeah, <laughs> every, every, everything has a little hint of, of creepiness in the yeah. park. And I think that's what makes it... Uncanny Valley. Yeah, that's, <laughs> from, from the snowmen, from the decorations, it's like a little vibe yeah. that I think adds... In, oh, there's Jokey there! Meet him. No. 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 
I'm he's not like, power. I'm not gonna meet. I'm gonna go on a cannibal ride. Should we do it? I think we should do it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sick. But let's do. Should it. we do cannibal first and then? <laughs> I then think cannibal's gonna be less sickening oh, then. then. Faster, yeah. I genuinely feel like I'm gonna get more sick on that than okay, the cannibal. Let's just do it. Let's get out. Let's so, get out of the way. It's not called the cannibal ride. It's literally not. It used to be called that. Maybe not. Maybe not. Actually called that though. It was called Monsieur Cannibal. Oh yeah, you're right. And add a little song. And apparently in the past couple of years of lockdown and stuff, they have fully changed it, renovated it to different theming, which is good. Um, and it's now a Simbad ride. Right? <laughs> An improvement for sure, as Marie said, yeah. <laughs> and this is what the ride looks like. I love it. I mean, theming wise, really good. The actual mechanism, I believe, is the same. Kind of like a tea, tea cup situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marie spotted some beautiful details on the ground. I love it. Detail wise, theming at the afternoon is. 10 out of 10 absolutely brilliant but yeah we'll go and give it a try neither of us are big fans of uh, spinning rise but we both want to give it a try anyway again hardly any queue only a couple of us a uh, couple of people in front of us to go on the ride both were really nice as on, as on our way here had a look at how fast it was spinning and we were like we had second thoughts momentarily then we were like let's just do it anyway we're gonna do it we've had a rest from breakfast yeah so save time it should be okay it does look it do, it's 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 not very long the ride i think that's what gives me hope so that even if it's been too bad. There and wait for it to be over. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to enjoy a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you find like spinning rides okay? Because so many people are actually fine with them. Like at the teacups at Disneyland Paris, so many people love spinning them a lot. I can never spin them too much. But these ones, you're not in control. They just spin you on them. So. Lord have mercy, let's go. The theming though, phenomenal. Look at the ceiling, guys. Marie and I are trying to find the perfect little boat. Oh, look at that. Very, very cool. Which one should we go for, Marie? How do we even get inside? Oh, yeah, there's a little door. Alarm, merchant travelers. Keep your merchandise safely between your feet and remain seated while seated. Back on the feet. <laughs> Safe journey. Merchant Safe journey. <laughs> If it was like this, I'd love it. It's just started, guys. Yeah. It's very nice and slow. It's like this the whole time. Yeah. Maybe we should have gone on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying the music, though. Really cool music. Oh, we can move it ourselves. Don't move it. With this, make it more spinny. I was holding it so we didn't oh, spin. Thank you. That those been those guys before. were going like that and spinning it around really, really fast. Already, even yeah. with that, it felt like it was going really yeah, fast. I was, I was just holding thank it. You so <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me. Because I, I, I only could open my eyes a couple of times. For the most part, I had my eyes like this. But to be honest, I feel okay at the room. Now that it's stopped, I am really fine. Thank you. Salam. <laughs> See ya. I love the waterfall. This park is beautiful. Not only does it have really cool theming and magical attractions and just so many cool things to look at, but even just the nature side of it, I think they just do a brilliant job of upkeeping it. That is just awesome. Walkways are awesome. There are lovely little benches for you to sit on as well. Now, at the moment, as you can see, we are heading towards the Pagoda, I think that's what it's called. An attraction that basically takes you up. It does spin very, very slowly, but only because it wants to show you a full panorama view of the whole park. It is awesome. Here we are. This is the attraction. Pagode, pagoda and it doesn't seem to have a queue at all so I think we should be able to just walk straight on this too thank you um oh have mercy straight on another absolute walk on for us Whew. the first time I did this and you can check it out on my uh, first visit to the afternoon vlog I think it might even be one of my most yeah, videos yeah, it's it's under a little drop of wetness oh, there yeah. um, I was a little bit worried because I don't normally like heights 
It ends up being actually fine, doesn't it? Yeah, this it's is just quite high, this thing. This <laughs> it is, yeah, it doesn't fall. If you are actually scared of heights, don't do it. If you're it really scared of heights, high. like, <laughs> I, I don't like heights, but I'm not like, oh, I can do roller coasters, I can do things. <sighs> I appreciate the lighting here, by the way. But well, you know those big, like, CGI things of yeah. fake fairground rides where it... It looks, didn't look like it should be real. Yeah, it doesn't look real when you see it from the distance. From the outside, yeah. yeah. It's a very uniquely designed ride, for sure. And you can, oh, we're going up already, and it's so weird because we just like attached to that uh, that thing. Marie's already stood up and braved it. There is some information here about how high we're going as well. Obviously, 1952 is the year that this opened. It's going up really, yeah. quite fairly quickly. Yeah. It's a beautiful castle there. That's where Symbolica is. It gives you some information about when things were built, etc. There you go, Symbolic. Oh my God! Yeah, that's Baron. You can see Baron in the distance. Guys, we are quite high up. I, I don't like heights, and I have to. I'll be honest. I don't like. It is a little bit. I, I'm feeling a little bit wobbly at the moment. Look at that there. Oh, there might be a bit of Tilburg down there. I'm not sure. I don't think it's part of the park there. That's the entrance. They are currently building, I believe, a new hotel right at the entrance of the. Uh, the oh my God, I'm, I'm a bit worried. Um, <laughs> Baron, Baron's there. You can see all the roller coaster section area on that side, which we haven't done yet. Oh my, we are very high. It's nice to see Marie. Look at the top of the castle bit. Yeah, it's pretty. Like you can see the sign, the actual Efteling sign. Because uh, there's no other way for you to see it unless you come to the top. And it's brilliant. And that is definitely one of my favourite attractions here, Symbolica. So because it's actually so quiet, I'm going to walk around a little bit. Last time we did this in September 2019, it was pretty busy, so there were people all over. But now you actually have time, like space to move. And... It is nice. It's nice. It, it does. It's cool that there is an attraction of this sort at the Efteling, and it spins very, very slowly. So you don't. Obviously, I'm very aware that we are spinning. It's not giving me the sickness that I normally feel if I'm spinning too fast. It just does the spinning to show you a better view. And we love both Marie and I are big fans of the autumnal colours they've got going on as well with it being November still. The trees look great. It's very windy. And you can see from the bird guy. Oh yeah. So this is the Winter Efteling Christmas Market area from above. Looks amazing. Marie and I are hoping to spend that is, the that evening is part of the park over there. Is it? Yeah, definitely. What is it then? I think it's that thing up. Okay. I think so. Potentially, know. yeah, because we haven't actually uh, went into that area yet. That's obviously the ride uh, that we walked past earlier. You can see Carnival Festival over there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I am a big fan of the Winter Efteling. Christmas market area and you can see there's, there's an ice rink as well which I think you do have to pay for so we're probably not going to do it just because neither of us are big fans of ice skating anyway but it's nice that they have that as part of the I guess um, Christmas market area as well and up there you can actually see our hotel that's the Efteling hotel that's where we are staying right next to kind of the other entrance of the park but there it is we are slowly but surely coming back down now I want to go up again I like going up can we do it again yeah I mean uh do you think you'll be allowed yeah. to stay on it? So, we are back on the ground now, however, it looks again. like we could just go up yeah. again because, uh, yeah, it's very empty, still no one on the sides, so we're going to have another journey up uh, to see another view of it, but I'm probably not going to film it this time around, so I'll next see you when mm -hmm. we're off. <laughs> Well, we are off the pagode for the second time round now. Unfortunately, the boat ride is closed. Um, we are going to we'll keep walking this way. I think that's where uh, we're going to get to the roller coaster section of the park because we haven't done that on this trip yet. And we kind of want to get some of the big roller coasters out of the way, especially because it's not raining. I don't know, the weather's nice. And we want to make sure that we've done all the big rides before we eat. Also, I might be wrong, but I believe this is a part of the Symbolica show building. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, any of you Dutch Efteling fans who obviously visit a lot, I'm sure a lot of you have messaged me on Instagram to say that you have annual passes, um, I have obviously already bumped into a couple of you as well, so big shout out to you, you guys, if you're watching here and if you're Dutch, you are actually one of the main reasons that I came here in 2019, because so many of you were like, Sam, if you like Disneyland Paris, you need to come to the Efteling, and then we came, yeah. and we both did fall in love with this park, it's such a good park. We've got another dolphin slash fish statue here and look there's even a little dolphin slash fish just going round and round which initially scared Marie and I we thought it was an actual real uh, creature in there but it's not but yeah uh, this is what I'm talking about like the walkways here are absolutely beautiful and there's always something to look at everywhere anyway we are now walking towards Baron which we're hoping for it to be our first roller coaster of the day with the way the attractions have been so far and the time is uh, about 10 minutes to 1 p.m. 
as you just saw. It's honestly been very quiet today. Today's a Tuesday, the 22nd of November, 2022, and you can, you can see the roller coaster coming. This is probably the, the most thrilling and biggest roller coasters, Lord have mercy, at this park. There's a full on drop uh, at the start of it, which is really terrifying, actually. I've not been on a huge drop ride like this one, like Baron, since before COVID, actually. I've obviously been to Disney quite a lot, Disneyland Paris. Um, but the roller coasters in Disneyland Paris, even the like thrilling ones, like um, I was about to say rock and roller, but sorry, Flight Force or Space Mountain, any Indiana Jones, even they're not like qu quite as thrilling as the ones in other theme parks in the world. So this is huge. Baron is a huge roller coaster, and it requires the highest, like the tallest height as well. So some children might not be able to do it. There you go. You can see it's just gone up. It's about to drop. That complete vertical drop. Oh my god, it actually like stops for a second as well. Lord have mercy, it's just gone. There's loads of twists and turns. You can hear people screaming. I'm actually excited about this. There's even like a full on loop up there, as you saw. But I do think obviously the, the, the first part where it just drops you vertically is probably the most terrifying part of it. <laughs> Maria, are you excited about going on your first roller coaster since the yeah, pandemic? So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> We're hoping to go on the front. We might be able to. There might be an extra queue, a separate queue. I heard yeah, there might be. I think because yeah. it's not very busy today, it should be all right. Did you look at what the temperature was, by the way? Uh, seven degrees. Okay. Yeah, it's Seven degrees Celsius today. It is cold. Here's another angle of the huge vertical drop that's about to happen and you actually it doesn't even end here you're going to see in a second it stops there you can see those people there and then it goes and it goes under the underground does this little spin and keeps on going wow oh yeah that's, we need to smile we need to somehow smile as you can imagine with the ride that big with the roller coaster that big and we're currently standing just under it I can't take my camera, I can't take you guys with me unfortunately. They do have lockers, I'm going to put my backpack in there and I'll speak to you afterwards. Oh, we are just uh, off Baron. Bar Maria, how good was that? So fun. We got front row as well, there was two separate queues. We queued for like five minutes as well. Absolutely, just five yeah. minutes and we got to be on the front row, we sat next, sat next to each other. It was very cold. <laughs> But it's very short. I think the attraction probably yeah. is, it's less than a minute. But it's still a really, it's really good ride. Yeah, it's really fast because it's, it's really so really smooth. <laughs> it's so smooth. One of the smoothest like roller coasters yeah, of this so kind of calibre, this yeah. kind of vibe that I've been on. Yeah. Considering it like spins you, or you, you know, you're going vertical, you wouldn't think it's gonna be smooth, but it's so yeah. smooth. And there is actually space that we didn't end up putting our bags in the locker because it was one euros each. So we just yeah, there's like a little. You can sleep on the shower. There you go. So you don't have to pay it. You don't need the locker if you don't want to. If you don't have anything too. You don't have diamonds in your That's bag. it. That's it. You, <laughs> can just, you can just leave them on the other side the of the attraction. It takes two minutes. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna have time. There are like people yeah. looking at your stuff as well. So anyway, yeah, really, really good. Great first roller coaster of this trip. Phenomenal. This is the Dragon, right? The wooden roller coaster. I'm not sure of its uh, actual name. I think it's like it's, it's a name of a person and the dragon. And it's one of our favorite roller coasters. Unfortunately, it is under renovation, as you can see, there are people working on it at the moment. But it's a, such a brilliant ride. Really really fun and it's actually one of the roller coasters that you you know anyone I think can go on I mean there is still a height limit for it but um, as long as you're you don't mind just a little bit of excitement basically what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't have loops it doesn't do anything too crazy it's just like a really fun roller coaster and I really like the wooden vibes of it as well so hopefully it, this just means I need to come back at some point maybe in the next couple of years maybe 2024 2025 yeah yeah when they open the new hotel the haunted, and yeah. the haunted mansion one yeah because well, the, yeah. they're doing the haunted hotel or whatever one of the attractions spooks something cabaret yeah <laughs> what's it called yeah i don't know what the, i don't know what the, the old one was called. okay yeah I don't spook know and slot something like that something spooks um we did do that on our previous trip but it's currently closed as well because that's also getting renovated wow loads of smoke but yeah we're just walking here um unfortunately like i said this attraction is closed the wooden one but i think but well, there's two other roller coasters in this area one of them might be python the other one is one that's very popular and it's one that's like a half boat ride, half roller coaster. And I remember really, really being like incredibly impressed by it the first time we did it on our last trip. So I think that was my favourite ride. Yeah, yeah, you put it in your top five. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we should be able to get on that one too. Oh, look at the track though. Look at the awesome track for that wooden roller coaster. It still goes pretty high. So it's still a fast. Oh, I think that might be the Hollander. I think that might be it. That's the one that I'm really like. Oh my God, look at the, all the show buildings here are awesome. So yeah, this is called the Hollander. If we're not mistaken, we just need to find the entrance for it. This is fun, these are fun. And then after this, we're gonna do our last roller coaster in this section, which is the Python, which as you can see, that one's quite a big loopy one too. We are just so impressed by 
buy everything here. It's so awesome that they've built such an amazing exterior of a show building just for a roller coaster that really doesn't have much to do actually. Oh, there you go. Well, I guess it goes through it, but so much of it is a roller coaster outdoors and there's a only a little bit inside. Oh, can't wait. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can film on this one either, so I might have to just describe it to you afterwards. But it doesn't look like there's much of a queue at all. I'm, I'm seeing a five minute queue perhaps. This is the height limit for this, I believe 140 centimeters, five minutes. One thing I love about the Hollander, this attraction, is the music. You can kind of hear it in the background as I'm walking, but you can also find the music on probably Spotify or on YouTube. Just uh, type in Efteling music because it's some of the best music of any theme park I've ever listened to. Also worth noting that quite a lot of these big roller coasters do have a single rider queue as well. Um, none of them have been open on this trip so far that I've seen because it's very quiet. They don't need them to be open. But if you're coming during high season, you can use those. The queue line at all these attractions are number one very long thankfully very quiet at the moment but you can just tell how long they sometimes can get but also very detailed like there's always things to see so i imagine even if you do have to queue it won't be too boring they're just so well themed there's always something to look at and this attraction actually just the vibe of it at the moment kind of we're not in caves we're obviously in a little like castle house thing but with it being so dark it feels a little bit like Pirates of the Caribbean and I think because the actual ride as well is a kind of like a boat the Hollander is a boat ride that then turns into a roller coaster you can kind of see it over there people getting on you would think it's just a boat ride but it's not don't be deceived so there you go you can see the people going through this uh, can canal well canal way um, and yeah that's where it starts so that's where the journey starts I also just love the theming of the actual ride but I'm pretty sure they do have full-on seat belts because yeah later on it does turn into quite a fast roller coaster type of ride anyway i'll see you after oh yeah how was that marie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. we got quite wet it's a good yeah. thing we both have food except yeah, i my timing was terrible yeah. Just before the splash is when I cut, took my hood off, I was like, oh, we're outside now, we've done all the indoor bits. No, 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 the splash comes actually when you're outside. Also, a droplet went inside my eye, I want, there's a lot going on. It's a good ride, it's very, very, it's very interesting, it's very unique. So, we're just having a look at the physical map. This is where we are, currently, by a python. This is a section that we've not been to at all yet on this trip, so that's hopefully where we're gonna we're gonna do python first right it's because it's literally just there um do that and then slowly but surely walk there but that is what we were just on over there the hollander and this is the final kind of roller coaster unfortunately that's open in this section here also there is apparently a train that goes around the park there's a track for it and it's on the on the actual map as well but we've not actually seen it move we've not seen the train Marie was saying it would be nice if, if it could take us to the other yeah, side of the park, which is really what because nice. we literally need to yeah. go to the other side to get to that side, uh, which was which is the side we've not actually discovered at all on this trip. But we will see. And Python over there is just waiting for us. So there you go. You can see Python go up over there. You can hear it as well. The classic roller coaster noises. This just is a very generic roller coaster. But if I remember correctly, it's pretty smooth considering this one again, as you can see has a couple of loops, quite a lot of loops. It goes upside down several times. I remember feeling absolutely fine on it. Like obviously it's scary, it's thrilling, and that's the point of roller coasters, but it just wasn't sickening. And here we seem to have a random man talking to us, but I'm not sure what he's saying. I think he's saying papi. So it might be another trash can. I love it. The bins, the trash cans at the Efteling are so unique. There's so many of them scattered around as well. This is a very clean park and it's so cool that they've got all these different characters like the people that you saw earlier when you first entered and this one and then the traditional ones that are like the faces, the big faces scattered around the park that just say Papi here, Papi here and they encourage people to put their paper trash um, inside the bins but you saw python there again more than likely won't be able to film i even if i was allowed i wouldn't want to take it with me i think you can actually film if you have a gopro just bear that in mind if you're coming here and you want to capture yourself on the ride if you've got a gopro go for it you need like a strap with it though you can't just hold it but i don't have a gopro and also i just want to go on the ride relax and enjoy the ride rather than take you on it but if you want to see what the ride's like i'm sure there are some video footage on youtube anyway it is it's, it's very much empty this is our next ride ah, 
We always struggle finding the entrances actually. Like, yeah, that's a papier here as well. We always, for some reason, see the exits first. Like, there's an exit sign there. But I'm pretty sure the entrance should just be next to it. And Python, obviously, is meant to be like a snake themed ride. We found the entrance just here, and you have to be 1 meters and 20 uh, centimeters to be able to go on it. But before we go on the ride, I just want to show you this area of the park as well, which we definitely have not really spent too much time in on either of our trips so far. I think it's more for children. There seems to be a couple of games here, little shops here and there, a little playground area. Still very beautiful, though. You can see again how well themed it is. There are some monkeys up here. I think on my right it seems to be like a restaurant they have some really cool restaurant buildings here as well we've not actually eaten too much um, at the food restaurants here we've not done a table service and we might not do it on this trip either because there are so many cute quick service snacks everywhere good deals as well there seems to be like a kebab wrap with a drink 9.25 euros you can get a sandwich for 7.75 there seems to be a couple of christmas trees here as well some like carnival sorts of rides there as well um, a little fireplace very nice some seabirds here and then you've got one of those pirate ships too so a lot to do a lot to do in this park good news guys marie's oh, just spotted so happy. the train <laughs> that we've been worried about it smells so nice the fire the fire everywhere but yeah we do have a train station here and the train is there which means oh, the, the smell of the burning fire is just something else let me know in the comments down below do you enjoy this because to me it just feels so festive and obviously the atmosphere the fact that it's cold everywhere's cold you feel cozy by the fire beautiful you've got the Christmas trees and um, there are some snack carts here too but yeah we've got a train so after Python we should be able to fingers crossed get on the train that's gonna take us to the other side of the park you have to change your vlog <laughs> we are <laughs> a hello darkness my old friend moment it's not the train that takes us to the other side it's just a paddling train excitement paddling, paddling. <laughs> sad times so we can still do it if you want do you, you seem yeah. to really like trains. <laughs> no, I know you want one. I don't want to pedal. Yeah, they're just they're just like cute little trains. That I think. Cute. Yeah, you can see them there. It's for it's mainly I think for children. It's not the ones that actually takes you to places. It's okay. It's at least at least we got to see this area. At least we got to hear uh, smell some. Smell the smells. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, something just went in my eye. Oh no. And also we found this restaurant which apparently has something that one of you guys recommend this so we might come here later for food we'll see also interesting that they actually do do more by order in quite a lot of the restaurants here which is nice not a public okay syrup waffles and warm winter beverages that does look good uh we're just gonna have a look at the menu before we go on python just to get an idea of you know whether or not we do want to actually eat our lunch here as well that is so funny i think this is like a very dutch thing where you can basically put a coin on or pay you can pay by card actually in this day and age not a lot of people have or carry coins with them and then the food is just there for you once you've paid you take it out and you can take your little snack out it's very cool it's very unique like i said a very dutch thing this is like these are the snacks and then the actual restaurant looks like this it's nice and cozy they've got it decorated for christmas as well with the lights seems to have enough tables too marie has found another train <laughs> marie is like yeah determined to find this train that is uh meant to actually go around the park not the pedaling one that we saw it says 25 minutes something is doesn't it there all right for fair fair enough well maybe we, we, we could get on it then do you not do python do you just we can, we can, yeah we, we can do python another time what do you think uh, <laughs> oh yeah it's not bad because we're getting on a train i'm excited as well i like trains train rides are so amazing yeah and here we go! Choo -choo. So glad we don't have to walk! I know, it's nice, it's nice isn't it? <laughs> I love seeing the smoke from the train and also all the beautiful autumnal leaves, the colours of autumn as they, we go through Efteling the park on this beautiful train ride. We're slowly but surely getting to one of our favourite rides, Fatal Morgana here. Love the show building for this one as well, it's huge and the actual ride is also quite long. We were in it last night, we're probably going to ride it again today at some point. And we are slowly but surely now getting to the main entrance of the park, that little building over there 
you can see some Christmassy festivity vibes going on here. I think pretty soon we should also be getting uh, close to the Christmas market area. You can also see they're constructing a new hotel here. I believe it's going to be called the Grand Hotel. It should be at the entrance of the, uh, main, like the main entrance of the park rather than our hotel, which is, has got a different entrance. But yeah, the main hotel should be, this new hotel, Grand Hotel, should be opening in 2024. So in a couple of years' time, I think. Oh, it's so cool. I'm really glad we're doing this uh, train journey, actually, because we can see some parts of the forest as well. The forest is one of the biggest attractions at the Efteling, and we're hoping to do it maybe a little bit of it tonight, maybe tomorrow. But last time, we both absolutely loved it. It's like an attraction that takes about two, three hours long. It's a walkthrough attraction, and you can see different fairy tale stories inside, and it's really cool kind of getting a glimpse of it from the outside and seeing some of the uh, show buildings from the outside on this journey. So we've just come off the train just there we're now on this other side of the park that we've not been to on this trip yet unfortunately one of my absolute favorite rides in Efteling the Drumflucht the dream flight ride which I genuinely think is like the cure to depression <laughs> like I love it so much last time I was here we it was the one ride that I think we did three or four times that looks shit as well which one's in a Volta? yeah I don't know let's see you might be right or maybe they're just doing something on the outside that would be really sad. Oh no. I'm really relieved. <laughs> yeah, Marie is really relieved because you felt quite sick on there yeah. last time, didn't you? Yeah. Do you check out our vlog from the from last time we were here if you haven't already? Because obviously it was from a few years ago, some of you might be new here. And then you can see exactly what our thoughts were on the on our very first visit, you know, experiencing everything for the first time. There's a cute little row there. But Okay. So yeah. Overall this area of the park, of course, with you know Drimfluch being closed sadly doesn't seem to be too busy there's some fireplaces everywhere which is nice keeps everyone warm during winter efteling not all the snack carts are open but there are some open in every section oh yeah there's some waffles they've got them there as well that's nice some christmas trees around again love the smell of the fireplace Drumflucht, don't you worry i will see you in a couple of years time you're amazing yeah. <laughs> such a good ride but villa volta people do seem to be okay i'm so sorry marie uh, they're really <laughs> all right so villa volta is like the mad house ride here attraction in the Efteling and again first time we went on it we were both very confused but it's an awesome awesome ride it's one of those rides that I do I understand what Marie said like if you it, it, it can cause motion sickness basically because it, it makes you feel like you're going upside down but it's also very well themed I guess they're just doing something on the outside of it though because it seems to be some innovations outside but yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> Marie's favorite. <laughs> the little oh, tea nobody on it. I, know. <laughs> I actually don't know what the names of those are, but they're like little monorail things that just go over the park a little bit, um, and it's just very relaxing. But yeah, in we go to Bella Volta. I can hear the music, and it makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> I love like, you're how you're, lo you're longingly on looking ride. at your favorite ride. <laughs> yeah. It's like no one on it at all. I know. That's why it's good because we can just go around yeah. as much as we oh, want. Look at his eyes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is all the pre show stuff, by the way. Most of the attractions at Efteling have like quite long pre-shows, which I do appreciate. Dit huis, dit vervloekte huis, het is een hel gelijk. And after quite a long pre-show, we are finally in the main area. This is the house that will... Oh, the music, it's just gonna go upside down, probably make you feel quite dizzy. Um, yeah, I think we can just stop here probably. So here we are, we've got uh, our seats here in this uh, beautiful house. Nice decor actually. It's a shame that I can't understand Dutch because that guy spoke to us for about five minutes. How upside down are we going? I don't know. But I guess just... Oh yeah, sure, it should be okay. Um, maybe close your eyes if things get worse. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't actually see what's going on. I was fine last time. Yeah, you seemed okay. I didn't throw Yeah, no, it, it is... It does like mess with your brain though, this ride, it really does.
that is mad. That is, that is, that is pretty amazing, but I feel alright. It's just so. How do they do it, Marie? How do they do it? Yeah, it's, it's magic, definitely. Isn't it? It's completely magic. That house. We just. We just put the little girl. Oh, yeah, it's a cute little girl. Um, Wow, it is an it's an amazing attraction. I absolutely love it. Apparently, there's a similar attraction in um, Alton Towers in the UK, yeah, which is called Hex. Yeah. I've not been on it, but yeah, it's, good, yeah. it's very similar to that. If you have, been I think on that it. made me feel worse. The Hex, Hex one, does yeah, it, I think one, it's really. Faster. Well, that's good to know. Right, it is about 2:30 p.m. So we are heading into this restaurant, which we accidentally discovered on our last trip here, uh, the Het Witte Part. I'm sorry for the bad pronunciation, I don't obviously speak Dutch. But yeah, they do some nice warm food here. Uh, it's hopefully going to just be nice and warm as well because it is getting cold out here. This is what the inside looks like. I like how they've built like a, a Christmas tree with a peacock, peacock feathers. Very unique. And it's almost like a canteen type of thing, a little bit uh, like if you've been to a Stark factory recently in Disneyland Paris. Kind of like that, you can pick up your food and then you pay at the end. But I remember I was quite happy with the food that I got here last time. And they do some pastries too. Oh, those, those uh, cakes look quite cute. Do they not? Oh, I'm sorry. These are cute. Apple strudels, some other pastries, croissants, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah, little sandwiches. Bag it, yeah. That sounds good, actually, for sure. They have some salads here too. Um, yogurts, if that's what you wish to And I think if you want something hot, that's where you need to go to. And the hot stuff is, um, you know, fries, meat stuff, um, pasta, spare ribs, it says. Smells delicious, to be honest. So I might go for something warm. We'll see. I think I have decided to actually just go for a sandwich because we're probably going to have a slightly bigger hot meal le later in the Christmas uh, market area. We want to have hot dogs or something. So the tuna sandwich looks really, really good. It says here, baguette, tuna salad, lettuce, egg, onion, and chives. The bread looks really nice. And then they also have a few different baguettes here as well with some chicken, if that's more your thing, or a vegetarian one with cheeses and tomatoes. They all look really nice and fresh. So I'm actually looking forward to it. And I think this one is 5.85 euros, which isn't bad for the size. Hopefully it will taste nice. They also have these 70th anniversary special Efteling cups that you can get. And I think they're refillable as well. And then these chocolates, last time I absolutely loved these. I got quite a few in Marie and I opened them. They're these like Efteling Kinder Egg type chocolates and you get an Efteling attraction in them. So Marie just picked one up. I think I might take a couple and we'll open them after our food. Good from the first bite. Yeah. So here is a better look at this messy tuna sandwich. So much of the tuna has actually fallen off. But it looks really good. Is it nice, Marie? Marie's, Marie's got the exact same as me, just with slightly different bread. Um, there's eggs in there as well. There's tuna. It's going to be messy, but I'm going to take one bite. I just love them. Five something euros as well. Very big, very filling. Really nice. Marie is going to open one of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. four Efteling eggs, chocolate eggs. Yeah. Oh, it's like one, I forgot that it was like one side white chocolate, one side. Yeah, it's cute. Very cute. <laughs> just to get to the mm. side. Chocolate's alright, it's not great. Yeah. Woo! Oh. Who is it? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm excited. It's the little girl boy. Goat boy. Little girt boy. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, that's yeah, a cute one. That. Get him out. Oh, it's a cute thing, isn't it? Cute little goat boy. Fern charm. Like, well, how am I going to attach this to my phone? Exactly. Especially <laughs> these days. Oh, well, it's cute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open one of mine. And we've got my friend Denise joining us soon as well. So I've got my third one. I think I'm going to get her to open it when she gets here. But I think I want the long neck one. Oh, there's like little tiny stars on the chocolate. As you said, probably like not the best quality chocolate, but yeah, basic chocolate. What I'm mainly interested in, to be honest, is <laughs> the toy inside. So for now, I'm just gonna. It's very hard. I'm gonna have to buy it. <laughs> okay, so let's see who we get. Who is this? Wait, what the hell is it? <laughs> this is what I got. Oh, okay. A little magic carpet. <laughs> Fair. Why not? We've got one last egg though. Hopefully Denise will be the lucky one. I really want the long neck guy. Okay. Marie wants the wolf. Marie wants the wolf. Yeah, it's not with me. Yeah, well, if, yeah. Denise, you're going to watch this later, but hopefully if you get what we want, you can swap with us. You don't mind being in the vlog, do you? No, not okay. at all. Oh, 
Guys, Denise is here. She is amazing. She's amazing. She's come with gifts, and I'm extremely overwhelmed by so many things in the gifts, which I'll show you. I might do a whole video, but one thing that has genuinely made me really happy right now is this mayonnaise. And you said it's apparently one of the best mayos yeah, in the Netherlands. So I'm gonna try it. It's, Cannot it's wait. It's my mum's favorite. Oh. So, and I asked around. And okay. Like, yeah, this one. It's called Sansa Mayonnaise. I feel like I have actually heard about it because really? it must be that thing because I, I yeah I do research mayo sometimes yeah. in my spare time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she I, I, it's, this is exciting. We've got a full bag of stuff as well, both with Maria and I. Thank you so much, Denise. Look at that. Look at Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> exciting times. Uh, so let's go. Open one of the chocolates, the last yeah. egg. I, I think you get little, um, a little toy. The forest from the forest. Is it what's it called? The Angel Kiss Boss. That's it. Yeah. Someone can say the word. Yes. Yeah. You've got to translate so many things. And now, so anything that's confused you, just ask, and I'll I'll explain. How do you even say Snow Snow White? Snivitcher. Snivitcher. Am I saying it all right? It's good. Because Marie laughed. Marie laughed so much the first time I said. I was like Snivitcher. Well, it's kind of like German-ish. That's what I tried to do. But yeah. Do you say one more time? Snewitcher. Oh, it's just so silly! Oh, it's it's so cute, isn't it? It's yeah. like yeah. a part of the Snow White line. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, let's yeah. see. I actually did it. Yeah, well done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We have to buy it. We have to buy it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, it's it's the giant, I think. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Cool. Actually, I got that one last year. Yeah. Oh, last time. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I watched oh, yeah, the vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> I love how <laughs> this is just awesome. I love it. Yeah, I want to do Yeah, we did one. It was so because we. I really want that that high, that tall neck one. He's got a name, I'm sure. Long neck. That's it. Long Which neck. is Lock literally off. long neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. And then Marie wants the wolf. I want the wolfy boy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, which ones did you get? Um, I got. That's cute. Yeah, actually. Aladdin. I think I Aladdin. Sorry. Oh like, yeah, that's the far yeah. 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 goat guy. Ah, oh, the goat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One of the the zebra cages. Just the seven goats. Here. Amazing. So we've just come out of the restaurant which was just over there. We found this cute little shop here with these cute fairy dresses for children. It's adorable. We've never been inside the shop before. Denise said there's a magic mirror here. Yeah. She's trying it. Oh my god, let's oh. see if it's gonna. <laughs> Something's happening though on the mirror. Something is happening to your outfit, so. Oh my oh. god! The cow! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whoa. This is actually legit oh, quite... Trapped. This is magical. <laughs> You're a bit taller than Yeah, I was going to say that the, <laughs> it's kind of not covering your top there. That's so cute. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, it really fits you. Good choice. Good choice of colour. <laughs> Marie's... Oh! You're nearly... You're getting there. Are you jumping? Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> We've just come into the shop because Marie wants to get the hoodie here. And we found long neck. <laughs> oh, wow. <As> balloon! <laughs> They're five euros, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And, and can you like keep them and you reuse them? These are so weird. I think so. <laughs> They're so terrifying. Weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. You've got the Efteling branded thing on the side. <laughs> Would you like one? Yeah, it's nice though. <laughs> I love that you have. <laughs> but yeah, five euros and you can get long neck. Is that literally how what it's called? Long neck. Yeah, long which neck. literally means long neck. Long neck, yeah. which is literally what he is. Yeah. Long neck that is not attached to anywhere on this particular balloon. Just ends there. So Marie just got that hoodie and she's currently changing into it. But um, Denise was saying something really interesting about the Efteling. Because you've obviously yes. been, she is Dutch, if you can tell. But did I even tell, tell them who you are? I did say you're I, Denise, I you're here. Know. Yeah, she's I'm amazing. Denise, I've known Denise for many, many years. Um, last time I saw her though was a long time ago, probably 2017. Yeah. 18. I don't know. Anyway, something really awesome about the Efteling that you said is that the creator, who, the person that built it, was his name? Yes, Anton Pieck. So okay. he's like the Walt Disney of, of the Efteling. Efteling. Yeah. And um, yeah, so in Efteling, like, you know how things are a little bit creepy, as Marie's said. Yeah, Marie's little quote. <laughs> that yes. Everything just has a little hint of creepiness. Yeah. That's what makes the space awesome. Yeah, so that's how, like, that was Anton Pieck's vision of the fairy tales in Efteling. So everything was just a little bit creepy, yeah. but also very authentic and, like, vintage, yeah. kind of, like. 
Um, and we so were saying like Disney started similarly yeah. in some ways, the yeah, old so school Disney, cartoons. Disney used to be kind of creepy as well. Yeah, like look absolutely. at the old Mickey Mouse, he's kind of They're terrifying, yeah. genuinely, some of them, yeah. <laughs> and yet they have then, they decided to then make it cute and make it like to kind of yeah, move away from the Yeah, kind of modern. And but the charm of their feeling is that it stayed that way, I yeah, think, in many ways. Yeah, so they want to keep to the peak style, mm -hmm. is what they call it, because his name was Anton Peak. Oh, um, okay, and okay. And that's like the typical vintage Efteling aesthetic that you see everywhere and all the creepy faces. And I love and, that, and yeah. I, I genuinely love that. And I think this is a good segment because I think the next part we're going to go to is uh, what's it called, the forest in, in Dutch? Uh, Sprookjesbos. That's the one. <laughs> Probably one of the most popular attractions at the Efteling. Yeah. Is this also the one that has been around since 70 years ago? One of the oh, yeah. few kind of things that has been here since the start? In the original all attraction? With, uh, Sprookjesbos. Yeah, they, I feel like. Like my parents used to tell me this, oh. they used to come here and it was only a, uh, we need to go there. Oh, okay. It was only a, <laughs> like a playground. Just, just a simple place. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and then they added the little fairy and they tales. Added fairy tales and it kept going, getting bigger and bigger. And then eventually they added a swimming pool. In, which, the, in the forest? Wow. Uh, or just next somewhere, to it. okay. Like somewhere. I'm, I'm not sure where it okay. was actually because it's not around anymore. Oh, and RIP. From there, it just kept evolving and now this is what it is. One thing Marie and I spotted yesterday, which I think is really cool, mm -hmm. is that like even the logo has become Wintery Fight. Oh, yeah. That's everything, so cool. Everything gets replaced. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Spooks. Can, can you say one more time? Sprookesbos. Sprookesbos. That's one of the hardest words yeah. to say in so Dutch. <laughs> I do apologize. <laughs> but that's what we're going into it right now. It literally means fairy tale forest. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So here we are inside oh, the forest, the magical forest. The word that starts with a S, <laughs> the fairy tale forest, and it is beautiful, it is stunning. It is currently about 4 pm, so it's going to start getting dark soon. But we wanted to do it today. We were thinking of doing it tomorrow, but because Denise is with us here as well, obviously she's Dutch, she understands the fairy tale, she understands the language. We thought we'd do it today also. Tomorrow is probably going to be rainy, and we want to make sure because it's an outdoor attraction, we kind of get it done. Whilst it's, uh, the weather's a bit more calm. <laughs> Oh, we somehow missed this. Oh, yeah. That's a so there's a uh, Sleeping Beauty in there. That's a terrifying person. A Sleeping Beauty. She's just uh, sleeping. What's Sleeping Beauty in uh, Dutch? Uh, oh, thank you. We have um, spotted one of the mushrooms here. There's so many things to look at. So many fairy tales here. You can see also Denise was telling me. So obviously, I can see, as you can see, there's um, some snow on these little iconic mushrooms that make noises. And I was wondering how they did them. And Denise just said they literally completely changed them over because you know, how else would you just like put snow on them? And then there's this creepy, creepy tree here. There's just this place is amazing. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so cute. I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> yeah, little mouth, yeah. 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 So cute. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, we just got to our beautiful yeah. long neck here and he's actually wearing a hat. <laughs> the iconic long neck. I love it. His his neck stretches and goes back in. And I do appreciate again oh, the fact that yeah, he's got a scarf <laughs> and a hat and the expression on his face. It's just everything I need in my life. And this is his scarf all the way down at his body. And we are getting close now to the beautiful little red riding hood here. And I believe basically all of these cute fairy tale stories also have normally a story inside. Marie, there's a wolf. <laughs> Marie, like, he is absolutely scary, actually, the mouth. He's not kidding anyone. Oh my god, yeah, the details. Even like the chimney, everything just kind of uh, decorated for Christmas. I guess again they change these for the winter whiffling. Very cute. So here we've got Geppetto's workshop and it's very very cute. You can see little moving toys. The mice are always present. I mean look, look at that. Adorable. And look at that mouse up there. He is so adorable. I don't normally like mice but he's cute. And then here we've got the cat. Uh, the cat is Gideon. Yeah, well done. And then there's um and a fox. Probably. Yeah, the fox is not around, is he? He's he's right oh, where's the fox? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh right. So there's a there's a fox. All of Pinocchio's friends from the original fairy tale, rather than of course the Disney one. And then this, believe it or not, guys, is the whale from Pinocchio. And I love again how it's got this old school vintage style. Um, to have like the medieval vibes of you know or art in it, I suppose in a way. I love it. He looks uh, 
rather scary though and I do think from time to time you might be able to actually see Pinocchio in it if I'm not mistaken <laughs> This is, a, this is a zodiac thing, so you can. Oh. Look, like, what is your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. That's, uh, that's a girl. That's right? I think it's a fucking fish girl thing. Okay, so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Leo. Leo's. So, okay, stand on this thing. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, here? Sign in red. Right here. Am I still on this thing? Okay. <laughs> He's going to read you now. Okay. Oh. Oh. I see why you wanted us to stand here now, Denise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like vibrating, I'll be. <laughs> so now he's either going to laugh. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I don't know. He seems to be laughing. Ooh, is it a good one then? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like he's laughing, so I think it's good for I'll allow that. I'll allow that. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes he's like, oh, no, no, no. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't, I'm so glad I didn't get that. I'm so glad I got a laugh out of this man. With my star sign being Leo. <laughs> Rather than a no, 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 no. So we've just gotten to Rapunzel's tower here. And you can see Rapunzel all the way up there with her hair. Mother Gothel is climbing her hair and she looks terrifying. I obviously standing here and watching it, I kind of want to save Rapunzel in a way and tell her, no, don't let her come up. Unfortunately, I feel like it might be too late though because she is already, she's already nearly at the top. Oh well. You see these mushrooms, these iconic forest mushrooms everywhere. And Denise just pointed out that it's got like a little twinkle to the song, the regular song that they have. It's got more of a festive vibe, so you can actually see the icicles on the bottom as well. Figure anyone? I got on camera. So Marie just said something that I can't put in the vlog. However, she, we're both a little bit well. Marie is disappointed. <laughs> no, uh, basically Ariel here, our little mermaid is wearing her winter outfit because of course it's winter efteling it's cold last time over here she was wearing something slightly different to this check out the vlog if you want to see that wow it's literally called the dragon okay so we've got this beautiful dragon here with some jewels well i do i do know in uh in dutch it's called drag licht geraakt which is basically dragon easily triggered oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easily triggered dragon, yeah. I love it. Yeah. How cute are these sheep having a lovely dinner here on their table? And then if you look through that window there, the wolf, the scary wolf, is overlooking through the window and wishing, maybe wishing that he could eat them, but also wishing that potentially he was a part of them. How far are we into the forest so far? How far would you say we are so far into the forest? Halfway. Really? Yeah. Well, we're here where we've got one of my favorite things that uh, Marie and I saw last time we were here a couple of years ago. It's the donkey here. Very cool. And next to the donkey, we've also got this, which is the Snow White fairy tale. And funny enough, because we are staying in a Snow White suite at the Efteling Hotel, uh, some of the things that they have on this actually is recognizable because we also have them in our room. Oh, there's Snow White. I think the dwarves all around her are just mourning her, waiting for the prince to come and save her. Oh my god, yeah! So, Hans van Gretel's yeah, house here. Yeah, yeah. And walking past, you can actually smell gingerbread. Is it always gingerbread, Denise, or just yeah. right now because no, of... it's always Oh, of course! It is beautiful. This is stunning. I want to live here. Should we stay here for the night? No, I don't want to stay here. Look at, look at them, guys. Oh yeah! There's, there, is a, there's, there are some friends here. We might have some friends. What's going to happen oh. now? Oh, there's the cat. Marie, you like cats? You'd be happy, you can make friends with him. <laughs> oh my god, she's in there, the witch is there. Maybe we need to get rid of her first. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Denise wanted to show us this other house and she looks much friendlier, so we might actually end up uh, living in this one rather than the sweet house. Where is she saying? Shall I let it, Shall I let it snow? Let it snow. Oh. <laughs> and it did snow! How magical! So we've come into a uh, ride scenario here, which, which Denise said is quite new in, in this forest. It just goes round, you can ride these little swans, you've got a castle there, and because there's not much of a queue, we thought, why not? Let's, let's try it out, you know? We like experiencing new things, even if it might be mainly for children. No, okay! 
Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll go here, okay. <laughs> we are, we're each gonna go in a different swan, which is just amazing because of how quiet it is. And there's three swans and there's three of us, so why not? Denise, how are you doing in the back? Great, love yeah. it. <laughs> love your swan. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Oh, this is actually cute. We're going for yeah. a little tunnel. We're even the front over there. That was surprisingly a really cute, relaxing little uh, ride going through that uh, castle and back. And it has started to rain just a little bit. Oh. We have a schoen out of pot. No, the mine. The mine? The mine. We gaan naar pot. Ja, we gaan naar pot. Oh, I love the talking trash cans. When they opened this, like yeah. years and years and years ago, yeah. this would be all queue line. Oh, oh really? People been queuing yeah. for so long. Right. Wow. This is the water leaf section, like, <laughs> which the song for it is phenomenal. It's yeah. Maroon is one of my favourite songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> you said it's like a, one of the iconic yeah. Efteling songs. Yeah. It is so pretty. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Dude, dude, dude. Oh. So we've just gotten to the giant here who seems to be asleep. This is how I felt for most of yesterday because I was so tired yesterday. I can hear him snore. Oh, oh, something just popped up. Interesting. Oh, what's he trying to do? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Denise has got an annual pass for the Efteling and we have come across this tree and apparently Denise is going to be able to make the tree talk. Oh. That's it. That's it. He's speaking English now. Denise made him talk. That's it. That's it. He still said, but he said hi. Yeah, he that's said cool. Yeah, that's it was nice. Too. It was nice hearing a bit of English as well, yeah. actually. A bit weird because I'm so used to Dutch. If you have the actually app, okay. and you have like an account and everything mm -hmm. that's connected, and you walk ah. up to him, he will tell you hi. I you love that. Name. That is actually really cool. Yeah. So we've just uh, we've come out of the forest. Fairy tale forest. It is a quarter to 6 pm. The park closes in about uh, 15 minutes, one five minutes. We thought we'd come into the for um, not forest, the Christmas winter Efteling scenario with all the beautiful twinkly Christmas trees because obviously we've still got about 15 minutes to go. I love it, it's just so magical. It has also started to rain a little bit, that's why the hood is up. Because we want to just check it out one more time in the dark because we won't be here, Marie and I, tomorrow at this time, unfortunately. We will sadly have to go. What did you say, sorry? Is that your friend? Where? Oh, yeah. Is that, is that him? <laughs> I think it is. Firstly, a huge, huge shout out to the lovely Mace, who we met yesterday, watches the videos, and also is just an amazing, I was about to say cast member, an amazing staff member here at the Efteling. He also had these very cute 70th anniversary of the Efteling pins as a little present for us, <laughs> which was very kind. If you end up watching this, you're amazing. But we still got about five minutes here. I think the chalet is the little drink set. All the food items are probably now closed, aren't they? Yeah. So, we are potentially going to go on the Virgil. Virg Virgil. The Virgil. Is that it? Yeah, only if you're okay with it. Yeah, I'll come yeah. with it. Oh, are you I'll... sure? We'll get a taxi on. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to get sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I also am sure. I think it'll be, because we've got five, ten minutes to go, and there's not much else that we can get to before the park closes. And this uh, Fergal ride. <laughs> Am I saying it right, Denise? Fergal rock. Fergal hook. Fergal rock. 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 Or like rock. Look how Christmassy it is behind us. Yeah, it's so cute. cute. It? It's so <laughs> cute. Yeah, that that ride basically, yeah. which is um, like a dark roller coaster type ride, is the closest ride to us. And yeah, to be fair, Marie had a good point. We've not eaten in a while, so it could be a good time to go. Because <laughs> often we'll, <laughs> often we've just eaten something and we're like, oh, is it the best time? So hopefully we should be able to make it in time before it closes. Is it open, do you think? Oh, we're going under the bird. The park should be closing in three minutes. We just saw a couple of people run out rather than run in. So we're not sure. Is it all right? Yay! <laughs> there you go, Fergal Rock. 
five minute wait time. I might be the last person actually on this ride. Yes, are we the last people on the attraction for the day? Amazing, amazing. So empty, fully empty <laughs> queue line. You can see Marie and Denise over there. Because this is a roller coaster, it's basically mostly in the dark anyway, but I'm not gonna film with it. So say goodbye. I'm gonna get to the vlog in a second. See ya. So we're off the ride. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> really good ride. Yeah, it was, I loved it. It yeah. was better than I, I remembered it to be. I yeah. remember we only went on it once that last time, and I genuinely don't didn't have any memory of it except I just remembered feeling a little bit uneasy afterwards. Which was <laughs> crazy. Said, it's a bit of a queasy, but, but it's really nothing. It's nothing about. to worry about at all, mm. and it's very cool. There's so so many cool effects. Really fun. Yeah. There's birds in there, burgles. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's similar to Space Mountain, Hyper Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris, except it doesn't really go upside down. I don't think. Oh, it does. I think it did. Uh, did it? I felt no. like it did. No, it didn't. It's it not. Oh, because, like, we're not, we're not, because we're not wearing yeah. because our seatbelts aren't like the, the major yeah. ones so yeah true yeah it felt like it like yeah, i can see yeah. what you mean yeah but there were some cool things to watch so yeah officially it is 6 p.m now i think probably past 6 p.m seven minutes past 6 p.m it's been a phenomenal yeah. day full yeah. day here mm -hmm. i don't know what else to say i'm just continuing the vlog for no reason at the moment but yeah, thank you it. Thank it was you. Amazing to see you again. Oh, to see you again. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I've met you because I've, I've watched the vlogs. But yeah. <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> actually meet you. You're noticing yeah. some beautiful, wholesome content here at the moment, guys. How beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> the vlogging, yeah. behind the magic of vlogging. So yeah, we are now slowly but surely leaving um, this beautiful park. Our final evening here. But uh, whilst we in, were in there, just at the end of the queue, I met one of my lovely viewers, Tiho, right? Tiho from the Netherlands. Tiho, he yeah. was, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, can you say one more time? Tiho. Yeah, he was lovely. He was amazing. Really nice to chat to him for a bit. And now it's um, the end of a, another day. <laughs> Thank you if you've watched so far. There's probably going to be a few more minutes to this vlog because we still need to eat. And I just bumped into the lovely, what's her name? It's Orban. He is amazing. <laughs> and we want to give a big shout out to Benjamin. Yeah, thank Benjamin you very is much. also. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you again. It is much, much later since I last spoke to you. In fact, it's currently technically the next day. I am filming this at a quarter past midnight on the following morning, I guess. And I think I last spoke to you at around 6pm when we were leaving the park, so about six hours ago. We've had an amazing day today, it's been lovely, and after we left the park, we came back to our hotel room for a little bit, Denise came with us as well, because we've got the suite and it's so lovely with the little chairs and stuff, we actually got to make the most of it, and just chilled and hung out for a bit, obviously off camera, which was really nice, and then we went down for food, Marie and I, later, quite late actually, it was probably around 9pm, um, and this time we managed to get the real adult burgers as Maria calls them <laughs> now that we knew that they are actually indeed on the menu which was lovely they looked amazing they tasted amazing just had more to them than the children's ones obviously as you can imagine I also got the chicken nuggets as a side because I just was too hungry by that point <laughs> couldn't finish them all though but we both also went for a dessert because we saw someone else's dessert that looked really cool like the descriptions of the desserts didn't look, sound too appealing but what they looked like made us want them so we went for this like white chocolate type thing we don't even know what was in it to be honest but it looked amazing and it tasted really cool it just looked really cute we ate a lot i'm very very full but it was a lovely end to a really really nice evening and before i end the vlog i do want to give a couple of shout outs again so it was really lovely to see mace again the lovely staff member at Efteling who we met yesterday and again a huge shout out to him and thank you for the lovely little 70th anniversary badges that he gave us um it was just very very kind really really meant a lot also, a big shout out to one of my lovely viewers I met this morning at breakfast. Um, I believe her name is Seven. It's her birthday today, or it was her birthday by the time you're watching this. Really lovely to meet her as well. She said that her boyfriend spotted me the night before and then was too shy or something. And then we, she's staying in the same, they're staying in the same hotel as us, basically. But it was really lovely, basically chatting to her for a bit. And last but not least, big shout out and thank you to Denise, my lovely friend Denise, who joined us for the second half of the day, just for being an amazing person. And just, it was just nice having the three of us together. Also, for the presents that she gave both me and Marie, like completely unexpected, very, very cute. How cute is this Cinderella bag? There's also a lot of Dutch goodies in there, like sweets and chocolates and whatnot, which let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to maybe at some point make a whole video trying some Dutch snacks. I mean, that mayo I am excited about. But yeah, thanks to Denise, I could definitely do this and I'm intrigued as well to try these all out. So yes, I believe that is the end of this video though. It's been a long one, our second day at the Efteling. First full day 
tomorrow we leave at around, I don't know why I just did a tomorrow. I am wearing my pyjama bottoms, it is quite late. This is the last <laughs> clip you're going to see of me tonight. But yeah, tomorrow we leave at 4, so we've still got most of the day. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.